The Target 12 investigators continue our in-depth coverage of the housing crisis. Last year, Rhode Island built fewer homes per capita than anywhere else in the United States. Where are these people going to live? Where is the middle class going to live now? A third generation home builder says decades of red tape is making it almost impossible to increase the housing supply, leading prices to skyrocket. Target 12 investigator Tim White's here now with the details. Tim. Federal housing data shows in 2023 the number of building permits issued in Rhode Island fell to the lowest level in seven years, even as officials were putting hundreds of millions of dollars into this housing shortage. Bob Baldwin has been building homes in Rhode Island since the 1970s. When do you hope to have this done? Uh, Midsummer. Picking up where his father and grandfather left off. We love to build houses. We can only build what the towns and cities will allow us to build. Baldwin and other builders say they're facing major headwinds. The reality is in Rhode Island. All the easy stuff is gone. The primary hurdle, he says, is at the local level. You have a bunch of neighbors that hate you because they think they own that, and they don't want to see anything change. They don't want the neighborhood to change. They've been dumping their leaves there for 30 years, dumping the grass clippings there for 30 years. And they're going to fight tooth and nail to stop you. And they're going to fight tooth and nail fanatically tooth and nail to stop you at all costs. That's the problem. Baldwin says local officials often use laws and zoning regulations to block projects or bog them down in court. Go ahead, sue us. We know it. Sue us, we'll see you in five years. Five years. Five years, because they stole in the court system too. Data shows Rhode Island's housing production has fallen off a cliff in the last four decades, from a peak of more than 7,000 permits a year in the mid-1980s to two to 3,000 during the 1990s. Then, following the Great Recession, the rate fell as low as 800 permits in 2011, and it's barely improved since. There were 1,400 permits issued in 2022, and preliminary numbers show fewer than 1,200 in 2023. Bob, what were would you use to describe the state of building in Rhode Island right now? It's progressed from bad to worse to disaster. The house builder told me the state of building new homes in Rhode Island is, quote, a disaster. Mm -hmm. Is he wrong? No, he's right. Listen, we have the worst housing production rate in the continental United States, the worst. I mean, that's not a good, that's a disastrous condition. Stephen Pryor is Rhode Island's housing secretary. How many permits will be issued in 2024? That's not possible to predict, but it won't be a lot higher than 1,000. It won't be a lot higher than 1,000. Could it be, could it continue to decline? It could, it absolutely could. Pryor says the state needs to produce two to 3,000 new units of housing per year just to keep up with demand, double the current rate. When will Rhode Island be cranking out two to 3,000 units per year, best guess? I don't think that the elements that are in place are yet sufficient to get us to that level. And that is treading water level. In recent years, state lawmakers have poured over $300 million into housing, but Pryor says it will take at least three years for new units to be ready. As for other legal changes designed to spur more production. Those bills took effect in January last month, last month. So the system isn't even being reformed yet. It's just starting. So it's going to take time for us to percolate. Pryor also says state leaders need to convince cities and towns that new construction is a positive. We've got to, with precision, predict the new property tax revenue that would result, and we need to prove it. It's improving. It's improving. Baldwin does see signs that things are changing. There are certain towns and cities now that are looking in favor of this and trying to work with the developers to find ways to, to accommodate this and fix the problem. To check out how many building permits your town has issued over the years, we have an interactive chart on WPRI.com. And coming up tomorrow on 12 News This Morning, hear what Pryor and Baldwin say may be the next hurdle to building more homes. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.